Testimonies yeah. about what you've been doing. Okay. Um, the two testimonies I felt like the Lord was having me share is I shared with um, the one gentleman old lady last night was um, when we first got started, we got to, uh, the Lord had us go from from um, Nashville to, uh, to Fort Worth, Texas, mm -hmm. and from there we went to Waco, and that's when we really experienced the Lord, what the Lord was kind of doing with us, but we had still didn't really know what to expect. Um, he took us to a restaurant that was called um, Magnolia Table, and when we, we were going to go there at like 7 o'clock in the morning, there was no wine, but we heard the Holy Spirit told us to wait. Wait until later, and when you go, there will be a line. I'm like, okay, great. There's going to be a line. Okay. <laughs> so we heard go. So when we got there, we went to get our table in an hour and a half wait. And we're like, oh, okay. And so um, while we're sitting there, while we're getting in line and get waiting, all of a sudden, Oliver and Stella said, hey, Dad, Mom, and my, and my mom was with us, my Grandma, hey, there's people here that we can pray for. And so they started going out and praying for people in the line and around the people around the area where they were waiting. And then it allowed my wife and I and my mom to go around and share testimony, uh, scripture and stuff of why we were doing stuff. And some of our testimony at the time that we had of what the Lord was having us do. And so we then got called in. We went in and ate. And then we came back out. And instead of leaving like I thought we were going to, all of a sudden, again, Michelle and Oliver said, hey, Dad, there's more people here to pray for. And at this point, then all four of my kids are going all over the place. And they're all praying for people. And we're able to come back and share the, go and share the gospel with why we're, why we're doing this with Mark 16, 15 through 18. And how it tells you to spread the word of the gospel. And at the end, it says, lay your hands on the sick and they shall recover. And so that's what we were doing. And then, um, uh, and then a few months later, the next testimony... Um, my mom had gone back with, to see my dad and stuff, but we stayed down and we went to um, San, uh, San Antonio and we got there, um, with Cornerstone down there with Matt and Heggie and John Heggie. And the group of them asked us to go to what is called, a place called uh, Jer Jerusalem Grill, which is real close to the church. So we went there. And as we were eating, my kids now got to the point where they like to get up and they start sharing. And so if you ever see us at a restaurant, most of the time, my wife and I will try to keep with the little ones, but the older two, they'll be going out and they'll be talking to people at the tables about Christ, or sometimes Oliver likes to talk about little things and whatever. But um, uh, we were there, and we didn't have ministry cards at the time, just like that only table. But we had um, um, what you call it, tracks, I guess. Scripture tracks, cards. Scripture cards. And so we're sitting there, and all of a sudden, these, a whole bunch of people came in, and my kids go, "Hey, can I just start sharing and praying for people?" And I said, "Yeah, go ahead." And before I know it, one of the person, uh, people who were with came over to me and said, I wouldn't have been doing that. And I said, well, why not? And he said, well, they're all Muslims here. And I said, so? The Lord doesn't care if we're, what denomination we are. I mean, there's nothing in the Bible that says that you had to be a certain denomination. He's, he's for everyone. And so he's going to, they're going around praying <clears throat> for these people and giving them tracts, and they're taking them, and they're reading them. And so I'm just praising the Lord because... Mm -hmm. There's little tracks are just seeds. And so it was allowed people who we as adults sometimes push off because we we see the color of maybe skin or we see the nationality or their religion's background and we just push them away. But my kids didn't see that. They just saw people that they needed to pray for and share the gospel. And so, again, we got there and we just probably stayed there for two hours <coughs> and my kids just went around praying and sharing and they were all receiving of it. Not one of them pushed it away. Praise God. So... Um, don't you want me to do another one? Go ahead. Okay. Um, you did them quicker than what you said you would. <laughs> well, I was trying not to do what I told you I did up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one more. Okay. Okay. One more. It's, it's intriguing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, one thing also with these testimonies is the Lord's sharing that the more we share with each other of testimonies and going out and doing this, the more it, it encourages us to go out and do it our, ourselves. Mm -hmm. Um. One thing, because I missed this last time with Stella, Stella became more, the Lord gave her a gift of prophetic drawing. And what I mean by this is, there was one time where she drew a co coffee mug, and she went into, we went to Cracker Barrel, and she saw this lady drinking coffee. And she came up to the lady and said, 
this is, um, do you like drinking coffee? And she goes, yeah, I drink it every morning. And she said, can I give you a picture? And she said, yeah. And so <coughs> Stella gave her the picture. <coughs> and she looked at the picture and she was in awe. She said, that coffee mug that your daughter drew looked exactly like the coffee mug I use every morning at home. Wow. And so without Stella even knowing the coffee mug or what it looked like, she drew it in the car, got to the store, got to the restaurant, gave it to the lady, and it was exactly what, and it's been more than once that happened with drawings wise. We were in Arizona, and she drew a uh, earthworm, and we're in a desert, and Lord had to stop at this random gas station, and she goes in, and she goes to the cashier there, she goes, do you like earthworms? He goes, yeah, I actually like them. I love them. They, and I use them all the time for fishing, and I think they're really neat. She said, oh, okay, the Lord told me to draw this for you, and she gave it, and it was a picture of an earthworm. Aww. So, like, just, even with that, she's nine now. At the time she was eight. Um, my son, youngest son, he's three, and now he's four. And the Lord's been using him with miraculous things where he's able to share with people who, with things that, personal things that, no one knows until he comes up and he starts sharing and they're like, yeah, how do you know that? How do you know that that's going on? Um, Oliver started, he likes going around to table to table, like I said earlier, and just start sh sharing and asking people. He likes going up to people and asking what their religion is and what they believe in. And then to go from there to work into how how Christ is in their life or how that can be. Um, he did that with a Muslim lady and it was really cool in Arizona. How he was able to work in with John 3.16 and she's like, I never knew what that verse was. I didn't know the Bible said that Jesus was the Son of God. Oh, and she thought her really her the book, the Quran, and um, what they call in Catholic um, were all the same. And she, he got to explain it's not in certain verses that were in the Bible that aren't in the Quran and stuff. Um, Felicity, she has a testimony of a, giving a ministry card and praying for her mom, and the daughter wanted her to come in, back to Christ and getting baptized. Oh, okay. Praise God. And so he gave us all. My wife and I as well. So, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you. Yes. Thank you.